we're gonna go ahead and upgrade another Imperial Banyan to a Lord, because Lord knows we need more Imperial <laughs> Lords. And we'll go ahead and give him Odrissa Castle, which we got in the last episode. And, yep, there we go. Dorian Bull, we'll call him the... Hmm. I'm trying... I'm trying to decide if I want to be serious and give him a, but the bull familia or the bullshit familia. Uh, we'll just go and give him the bull familia in case any children are watching this. Let's see. Ark and Dorian bull. Oh, and they have like wheat for their symbol. That's neat. Alright. Let's see what good old Dorian the bull looks like. Okay, we're... Yeah, we're not catching up then. Well, we'll see him later, I guess. Giving birth to our fourth child. Oh god, I, I, I really need those teams. Uh, at the time of this video, I'm recording... Uh, the video with the name thing still hasn't come up, so... I still have no idea what to name all these kids, bro. Uh, oh no, I don't want to watch it again, no, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, also I wanted to mention, we got a marriage offer from Kaladog for Yagi-chan. Obviously we're not going to accept, but just having the option is nice. Alrighty, I was trying to hunt down this guy since he's the head of a land tier 5 of the South Empire. We could really use him in our forces. However, it appears that the Sturgeons aren't going to wait for that. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna let our army, like, we're gonna try to find this Clan Deer 5 guy and maybe double back around for these lands over here. Though also, Makeb is also still pretty weak, so we might have to stay up here, defend, and let these guys handle these castles here. We'll just have to see what happens. Alrighty, the Sturgeons are now attacking Amprella. So we have to go and defend that. Oh my god, we'll lose 44 troops if we go in. Oh, go ahead. Oh god, we just lost so many. How many did we lose? Oh boy, two, 253. We have 400 troops to do this with. So we have to kill... Alright, each one of us has to kill, like, two per... Two for each one. That's, that's not bad. I usually get, like... 30 kills per battle, so I can make up for a few guys. Let's see. I've never really defended that in Prelis. I don't know. Oh, there's some staircases. Right here. There we go. Honestly, the Sturgeons are one of the... Honestly, I'm not, I don't know really how to feel about the Sturgeons. I like their cavalry. Yeah, the champions are really good. The uh, heroic line breakers are also one of the best. Oh, hey, hey, Tara. And archers, the archers kind of suck. Oh. But other than that, like, they're a really good faction. This, like, can go either way. Because their shields are really good in these sieges. Really blocks a lot of arrows. Though it doesn't really stop catapults, though. <laughs> and again, I don't think there is anything that stops a catapult. Oh, the siege tower's already down. Let's see. Oh, they have a battering ram as well. Let's see, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna stop anyone. Uh, it seems like there's a ladder all the way over there. I'll probably go over on that side. I think that's what's gonna have the biggest issue. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'll stay here, and then like throw all the rocks. Let me figure out where the the rock thing is at first before I do anything. Let's see, so it is right over here, yeah. So yeah, we'll run down over here as soon as the bat anagram is done. And then we'll run over to the there are actually a lot of people over at the ladder. Really. That's a bit of a terrifying group. 
I have to admit, the Surgeons have a really cool look to them. Oh, they also have a lot of Imperial Cataphracts. Oh shit, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, I should probably stop shooting, bro. Yeah, let me just move over there. Bro, I'm not getting any hits. Ah, oh, there's a hit. There's one down. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. At least I can go for the ones aiming at this thing for once. Oh, you know, I never noticed how the throwing axes just bounce off the walls. That's actually my first time noticing that. There's another one down. Time to get down to the streets. Thing. Rock throwing time. Yay, my favorite. Time to go help out the ladder. That's probably where we're losing the most people. At least I, if I can pass it, I guess. Yeah, it's time to head on over there. Oh boy, we have a lot of people. I'm oh, pulling the surgeons here. Yeah, we have a lot of crosswomen. Crosswomen are really good in sieges because usually they have like maybe 18 bolts and then they're like shitty infantry, but in sieges they can replenish their crossbow bolts and actually be useful. <laughs> oh my god, they're up the slider. Okay. This is how we're starting off a siege. Okay. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, uh, oh, they're running away. Oh. Oh, you're not running away, buddy. Where the fuck are you? Yep, sorry, buddy. You're not getting away. Let's see, anyone else get away? Alright, I think that's everyone. Oh, it sounds like there's someone still upstairs. Oh, that's everyone. Alright. That's 342 we gone. And that's like 109 yes. down. I think we should be able to, like... I don't know. I would like to sally out if like there was like another army to join us. Sadly, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just gonna have to just chill here, I guess. Oh, we could do an ambush. Nah, let's just leave it as is. Ooh, boy, 744. Man, they healed up quickly. Alright. Surely there's gonna be an army that'll come sa- Actually, if we take out a lot here, I think the lords here should be able to come save us. That's like, maybe 300 troops all together. Yeah, if all three of them team up, then we can sally out. If this loads in, alright. There we go. Oh boy. Why? <laughs> What's up with the scenery? Jesus, it's really bright for some reason. Uh, the scenery is really messed up. Uh, this happens sometimes. Yeah, I might have to cut this portion of the video out. Yeah. Or actually, kind of. I know it looks weird, but it kind of gives its own kind of fantasy feeling to it. I might keep it in like this. Kind of like a dream state siege. <laughs> so, to be honest, it makes the guys look a lot shinier. Like metal on the troops whenever we're like this. Coming down soon. Alright. Oh, see, he's charged down. That's a good start. Though I don't know where the ladder is for whenever. Oh, it's right there. Alright, yeah, it's a close distance. You can get there easily. Oh boy, there's archers shooting at us this time. Oh, there's one down. Surely they've got to be running low now. Seems like they're gonna be a lot more. Are they running? Oh my god, they're running. Bro, it hasn't even been that long of a fight. Uh, I guess they could tell that we were gonna sally out. Oh well. Yeah. Wow, we only killed 150 of them. I have no idea why they ran. Maybe they also wanted to... 
Oh boy. Just gotta wait a bit longer. Uh, I think that they can actually chart. Yeah, we can sell. Oh, I thought, I thought we could join up with them, bro. Oh, we're just gonna have to wait. I think we can sally out for this. Yeah, we'll just save who we can. I think this will get us a bunch of relationship with all the lords. I just got captured too. Ooh, it is a night battle though. Not my favorite. Oh well. Follow your sergeant! Right, delegate command. I'm just gonna go in. See what we're working with. They do have a lot of cavalry, surprisingly. Take that guy down. Yeah, I wish I'd waited until it was daytime. Yeah, I don't know. Because, oh boy. Nighttime battles are not my favorite. Here we go. Uh, there's a cataphract down. Didn't kill, sadly. Ooh, boy. That's a surgeon. Oh, these are our guys. These are not our guys, though. There's one down. Another one down. I think those calf over there are the enemies, so let's go over there. Oh wait, no. Oh, this is where their siege to this is where their line is. Okay. Let's put into their archers a bit. Oh, you're a you're one of ours. Okay. Man, the Sturgeon's having a bunch of cataphracts is really darn me off. Oh, I got a lead hired crossbow. Nice. Oh, again, one of ours. That one was not one of ours. Nice. And also not one of ours. I love how charge damage actually does stuff now. Oh boy, I, in Warband I would only do like one or two damage every time I ran into someone. Now there's actually optimal reason just to run through a crowd. My, my solution, my reasoning for running through people is to get knockouts, not because I'm bad at aim. Okay. Ooh, boy. Okay, I just took a whole bunch of damage. Okay. Maybe it's time to go chill out with our guys <laughs> back over here. How's our men doing? They, what are you? What are you guys doing, actually? Uh, they're slowly making it their way up here. Uh, you know, I'll just leave you guys to it. Let's see, they still have five horse archers left. I should probably take care of those. Let's see, they're over here somewhere. These all seem to be ours. But, oh yeah, here they are. Oh, wait, nope, these are also ours. What? Bro. Oh, they're over there. 
Ah, oh, whatever. Don't question it. <laughs> we do have a lot of archers, so I think the ideal thing, which I think the AI is going for, is to just let the archers shoot them. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should take control again. Yeah, we're just losing men for no reason. Hold on. Step moving! Hear me! Move out! Forward! Yeah, just chill over there. Yeah, we oh my god, we're losing cap for like no reason. Just chill out, guys. And I'll leave the other guys on the infantry to do what they want, just in case they start charging. Is that Cav coming? Oh, that is Cav. Hey, buddy. I don't want to attack cowards. Oh, I wish it was daytime so I could actually see what's going on. Well, whatever, I'll just shoot oh, as well. Bro, I just... There's nothing there, bro! What on earth? Oh, it's that guy. Okay. Okay, let's go. How about this? Oh, they, what the, they still have cataphracts? What? Oh, they said all the cab was, oh, they put them into one group. Oh, I see now. You know, that's actually, that's actually smart. That's smart. That's smart enough to save you though. All right, there's two cab dead. I feel like I'm gonna get stomped from the back. At least I am getting a whole bunch of kills doing whatever I feel like though. I should get off as many arrows as I can. bunch of damage. Cavalry! Command is yours! Riders, hear me! Sergeant! You are on command! Bounce! Follow your sergeant! Ruby. Okay. Finally had enough of me shooting them. <laughs> Alright, their infantry is stronger than ours, I think. But ultimately what it will come down to is just how many can we kill. Uh, I think we are getting them to route though. Here they Oh, these are our guys. Okay. Yep. There we go. I'm dead. Took a while, but figured it happened. Alrighty, we do have, like, backup, but it's mostly all archers who are running for their lives. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, it should mostly. They do have some cavalry, but we have a lot more cavalry. Then again, they have a lot of spearmen, so that might not mean anything in the end. All right, we do have a defensive line. We have some infantry. Not much, though. Oh boy. This is the difference between Astra infantry and Surgeon infantry. It is like absolutely getting cake. Best bet is the archers right now, just shooting them in the back. Oh, Seraphil is still alive? Damn. I, I thought she would die by now, honestly. Seriously. I'm seeing a lot of deaths in the kill feed right now. Not good. Yeah, kill all those. Don't let them get to the line, boys. More to dive, the better. Alec, I'm glad that they're on the de defensive now. That's what we need to do to win this. Okay. So they have a 122 more infantry. Seems like a good. A lot of them are coming up by themselves. Oh, they might try. Oh, they're coming in a huge group. Okay. Time to put our <laughs> archer line to the test. Okay. They do have a nice hill thing, I think. So they should be able to get a good amount of kills. Ooh. I'm mostly just hoping that they'll take out the two-hander guys. Not much else. Oh, not really hoping for much else, honestly. Oh. Oh boy. Seems like we're doing a whole lot of damage. A lot of green, a lot of red, mostly green. Yep. We have a lot, solid defensive line going around, and I think that's game. I think we killed a good portion of them. These are good units. We still have to go through their archers though, but those aren't really anything to worry about. Yeah. Oh my god, I think we actually won. Dude, they have 11 troops left. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we went through that. Oh boy. 83 influence. Let's see. We'll go ahead and take you prisoner. We'll take you prisoner. I give up. Call back Ooh. your dogs. I hope we I'm gonna see if we can convert any of these guys to our side. Stop! Enough! Enough! I choose to live to fight another day. I trust you will respect the customer. Oh, since we have this guy as, me to pay. Yeah. We'll let this guy go. Get some skill points. Charm. Oh my god, we have a lot of relationship with them now. Nice. Maybe I'll try recruiting them later. Let's see. It's all prisoners. Oh, I can just take them all and just sell them in the town behind me. That's an idea. And we'll also take all of these. Yep. Take all of these guys. Oh, prisoner limit. Don't care. Ooh, caterpillar. Oh, we got a full one, not just half scale. This is actually better than what we have. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, we, it's been a while since we got an upgrade to our own character. We got an iron... Oh my god, a good helmet as well. A master workman nail. Knight's... I love how we got mostly Imperial stuff from a Sturgeon fight. Whatever. It, it's nice. Tuned hickory... Oh my god, all this stuff here is good. This was a really worthy battle. And there. Alrighty, we managed to convince one of the lords uh, 
to join us for only 200,000. Which honestly, it has been a while since someone has wanted to join us for cho so cheap. And here's the thing about the Kolo Ving. They're a clan tier 6. They're officially the most powerful clan in our faction now. They're, they're going to be a massive ally to us. This is honestly a, a giant... Alrighty, so the recording for what I've been doing for the past 30 minutes just got uh, corrupted, but essentially what we've done is we took Tayal and we also took all the castles that were surrounding it. So essentially we, we've kicked the Sturgeons out of our land. Their only land left is an Epicritea and also Ravel, which we don't really have a way of getting to. Or well we could, but... It's really not worth it to have land up there. Uh, and we also gave Tyal to that uh, the clan tier 6. They're, for some reason our lords really love that guy. They've just given him everything. I thought I'd have to fight to give them <laughs> Tyal, but no, they were like, Oh yeah, we're happy to give it to him. So yeah, that's nice. Wish I could have shown the siege of Tyal because it was actually pretty epic, but uh, yeah, I can't really do anything about that. Oh yeah, pretty. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> Seems our guys want to make peace with the Sturgeons, anyways. Yeah, our borders are too far from those of the enemy. It's too audacious to pursue the war. I actually didn't know this was an option. But yeah, I, I guess you learn stuff every day. Yeah, that's all those guys freed. There we go. That's the end of the war with the Sturgeons. Alrighty, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up things here today. Uh, we d did a whole lot of damage to the Sturgeons. I, they literally only have two towns and a castle left, so I'm going to consider them practically eliminated. Like, they won't bother us anymore. Uh, as for the next episode, I'll go ahead and probably take out the Kuzates, because their, their land is literally just a stain on the the map border right now it just it just looks bad because <laughs> okay let me just go ahead and head on out of here uh okay let me just zoom out so right now this is all the land we control we control most of this area Mizea is really a nice horror but that's beside the point what really bothers me is this we just have the entire Kuzate kingdom just kind of dashed in the middle of our kingdom which I do not like so next episode we'll probably declare war on them after our guys have had time to heal up and uh, hmm. this serves two purposes one we'll be getting this map will be, look a bit nicer and also two we no longer have to worry about attacks from over here and we can focus on basically eastward I mean, westward expansion. Of course, we have lost these castles over here. We we lost them to the Western Empire, but I guess the Vlandians took them. Unsac Castle, for some reason, is still alive. So, there's that, I guess. Yeah, they have 480, so I guess they're like, eh, not worth attacking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.